Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to be working with the 3mm aluminum wire. I bought this wire to make a larger version of one of our freestanding clarinet figures. Michael ordered one of the figures from our Etsy shop, but he wanted it quite a bit bigger. I usually use 1.2 millimeter aluminum wire to make our figures that are about four inches high. So to make the sculpture 11 inches high, I bought the three millimeter wire. You can also use this wire to make the chunky ring that I made with soldering wire or you can use it to make similar designs that I made with the 12 gauge colored aluminum wire. If you compare them, this is the 12 gauge wire and this is the three millimeter wire. So this one's quite a bit more chunky and a little trickier to work with. So I'm going to attempt to make a phone stand for my iPod. So I'll start with about a 36 inch piece of wire and in the middle, I'm just going to bend it down. Now you'll see this is quite stiff to bend. I'm going to attempt to make some feet about an inch from the end. I'm going to bend them back. I'll get a sharpie and bend them this way. I'll have to do them one at a time because they're very stiff. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to attempt to make some toes. So we're just going to bring that that way, bend it out. And we'll start forming the toes. I'm not going to worry if they're too perfect. So there's one. That way. And around that way. This way. That way. I think we're going to run out of wire. So we're just going to do three toes, bring it that way and around and then bring it back and we'll do it the same on this side. So we're going to bring it across, bring it out to form the first toe. Don't worry if they're exactly the same. Bring that one around here. You're going to want some heavy duty round pliers for this too. You can see it's quite stiff to work with. Keep your shape simple. Bring this one around here. and around here and one more and then out so we have what looks like the toes now you can just kind of wiggle it around to get it how you like i'm going to bring this part out here and then bring this one back and you can form sort of the back heel around here and then we're going to bring this one straight up and follow that curve. So you can get this round form, bring it across here and bring it straight up. So it looks like that. Same here, bring it around, bring it all the way around and then we're going to bend it straight up. And then we're going to follow that curve. So it follows it around and then straight up here. So we have some very funky looking feet. Here you can see them from the bottom and they stand. Now take your device and just place it. So this is just at the bottom here and then you want to make sure there's enough to support it. So just measure up a little bit, bring this one around. I could have made it higher if this wire was longer. I should have centered it a little bit better. Bring this one around too. So these are at the same height. So this is the back. This sounds a little long, so we can just clip it here. And then your device is going to go here. So we can just bend this around here at the bottom. So bring this one out and this one too. We're going to bring it out. Like I said, this should have been longer. Loop it around like that. And this we want at the same height. 
Kind of looks like the arms now, which was unintentional, but it's super cool. Make this as wide as you need for your device. It's probably better if it's a little higher, but I'm just gonna trim them to be around the same height. Looks really cute just like that. So we're gonna stick it in here and it's really soft so you can just squeeze it and it's gonna hold in shape like that. And there you have a super cute mobile device stand with little feet. Here you can see the mobile device in the stand with the little feet. Super cute. You can adjust the angle as you want and it's freestanding and super solid. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.